Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new release from Ellis Brooklyn, and that is Vanilla Milk. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope that you guys are doing great today, and I appreciate you guys so, so much. With that said let's get right into today's video okay guys so today i'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the new ellis brooklyn vanilla milk i did get a travel size spray i am so proud of myself for picking up travel sizes first it's working out really really good sometimes i buy the travel size and i immediately want the full size but that's okay because when it is the other way around then I didn't spend as much and I'm not stuck with a full size bottle of something that I'm not gonna really use. So this is a really nice way to get to know a fragrance. I think a travel size has enough for you to get to wear the fragrance, get to know it and make up your mind about it. So today we're going to be talking about vanilla milk and I was very excited when I saw this release. I'm going to read the main accords to you guys and the notes and then we'll get started with my review. So the main accords for this fragrance are vanilla, woody, warm, spicy, amber, balsamic, cacao, lectonic, powdery, aromatic, and sweet. The top notes is milk, peony, frangipani, and jasmine. Middle notes are bourbon vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, cacao pod, and the base notes are benzoin, amiris, sandalwood, and musk. So this fragrance right here has been quite a tricky one for me to make up my mind if I like it, if I want a full size. And right off the bat, to be honest, I think I'm not going to be getting the full size of this one. I have been doing something lately where when I am trying fragrance out, I open up like the note section on my phone and I just start typing what I'm smelling, what I'm feeling, what comes to my mind. So when I tried this fragrance out, I didn't look at the notes. So I just sprayed it. I wanted to see what I was going to feel with it without knowing what was in it. I mean, by the name, I kind of already knew that it was going to be a Latin creamy type of scent and I was a little surprised because I did get a few other things in this fragrance I forgot to show you guys how cute the travel size bottle is I think it's really nice and as you can see it's around right here so I have worn this fragrance I would say three or four times already just so that I can give a review on it and my thoughts on it what I wrote down was that immediately upon the opening of the fragrance, I thought of Billie Eilish perfume, and I'm going to spray it today to see if I still get that same vibe. So here's my Billie Eilish one, which you guys, if you saw my review, I was kind of like iffy about this one, but I'm definitely starting to love this. And now that I'm smelling it side by side, there's a similarity. So if you do like the Billie Eilish one, there's a big possibility that you will enjoy the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk, even though Vanilla Milk opens up a certain way and then it just starts going a different direction in the dry down. So I prefer the Billie Eilish one right now, but I'm just going to keep reading my notes so that you guys understand what I was getting from this fragrance. So when I first sprayed it, I thought of the Billie Eilish fragrance. And then I also thought of another fragrance that kind of has this type of vanilla in the background. And that is Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. I feel like that sweet vanilla background that is in that fragrance, I get the same vibes in here. Here's the thing with this fragrance. I feel like it is super electronic. The name is very fitting for this fragrance. And I uh, to me, this smells like vanilla extract. So I wrote that in the notes. I put, it smells like vanilla extract mixed with egg and milk. That's kind of like the vibe that I was getting that day. Super lactonic, super gourmand, and super sweet. I also wrote that this makes me think of when I'm making a flan. So if you have ever made flan from scratch, you're going to be using vanilla extract, eggs, evaporated milk, condensed uh, sweetened milk, and eggs. So 
I get that vibe with this fragrance so much. I feel like I'm smelling like the mixture of the flan when I'm about to start making it. The first day that I wore it, I put that the dry down was magical and that I was really feeling the dry down because it starts to get like the spicy kick to it in the dry down. And it is like a spicy, sweet, thick vanilla with something a little bit smoky in it as well. And then I start getting a tiny bit of like a woody touch. So this is everything that I have in my notes. And I also picked up on a chocolate smell. I didn't know that there was cacao in this fragrance and I did pick that up. I thought that I was wrong about that and then when I looked up the notes I saw that it indeed did have the cacao note in there so my nose picked that up. Out of a lot of the other things I got that chocolatey type of vibe in here. So the day that I wore this for the first time I applied it at 4 30 in the afternoon and by 4 41 it was already drying down so i was getting the dry down for it and i wrote that the dry down was nice with the perfect amount of spice but it might be too sweet for puerto rico weather and i do think that that is the case with this one i also wrote that i have to fully wear it to be able to update which i have done since that day and i kept getting like that egg yolk type of vibe as well as like milk and then by 620, it was already a very close to the skin type of fragrance. It was barely there. And this is definitely not a fragrance that projects or it's beast mode or anything like that so now that i'm done reading my notes i just feel like there's something in this fragrance that stops me from wanting the full size so i was so excited about getting the full size of this because vanilla is just that type of fragrance for me that it's very hard for me not to like there's like this it has to be the milk note i have other fragrances that has milk note in it and I just get like the lactonic texture to the fragrance. Like it makes it very creamy, very smooth. But I feel like in this fragrance, I feel like I'm literally smelling milk. And there's something about it that's like very thick and sweet. Like just too much sugar for me. I feel like it's just not something that I want in my collection. It doesn't smell bad. It's not something that I would say is horrible or anything like that, but it's just not a must have for me. And the day that my husband came back home, I went to go pick him up to the airport and it was already 10.30 at night. I took a shower and I put on my body lotion and everything and I decided to put this fragrance on because I was like, you know, he's coming home, he's a lover of vanilla, he loves sweet scents and it was nighttime. But as soon as I sprayed it on, I felt like I made a mistake because it just felt too thick. It felt too sweet. It just didn't make me feel pretty or sexy or anything like that. I just felt like it was just too much for me. I'm pretty sure somewhere where it is very cool, it would probably be such a beautiful fragrance, but I do think that it turns into a super close to the skin type of scent. So if you're not into fragrances that are very soft, they are more of like a skin scent, intimate type of scent, then you might not be excited with this one. I don't know, there's just something about it that I just don't vibe with. Those are my thoughts on the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. I I feel like the longevity is not the best. I feel like there's something in there that just makes it way too thick and just makes me think of eggs. I haven't watched any reviews. I'm not even sure if there's any reviews yet on this fragrance and I'm definitely going to be watching reviews after I am done filming this one because I love watching reviews. I love to see what other people think about the fragrances and I'm very, very curious to see what people are thinking about this because it's just not doing it for me. The vanilla in here is beautiful, but it's not the type of vanilla that I like. And I do love vanilla that has a little bit of spice in it. That's beautiful to me. And I feel like here, it's just a mix of super, super duper cloying, thick, sweet, sugary vanilla mixed with spice and a little bit of smokiness. So it kind of just doesn't blend well for me. So when I smelled myself, I didn't think, ooh, I smell so yummy and delicious it was more like do i smell like i spent all evening like making flan 
I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to smell like that. Those are my thoughts on the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Milk. For me, it's going to be a pass. I'm going to keep using the travel spray. And if for some reason anything changes in the future, you guys know that I always update you with favorites and things that I'm loving, fragrances that I'm loving. So if I use up this bottle and my opinion changes, you will be sure to know about that. But for right now, I'm just going to be keeping the travel size and calling it a day with this one. It's not something that I am in love with. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried this fragrance? Are you looking to try it? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you guys so, so much for being here with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe before leaving today's video and I will see you guys in the next one.